holy cow, talk about my lucky day. Hey everybody, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure and I'm about to show you one of the best days of my life, basically. I was picking up my half dollars like I always do and some other denominations for some corner hunt videos and I popped into one of my B of A branches and the teller there said, I know you order boxes of half dollars, but we just had a customer drop us off a whole bunch. Did you wanna buy those? And at first I really thought she meant that someone had a returned, uh, hunted, searched if you will, half dollar box, but I said, can I see the rolls? And she picked up one of the rolls and I knew right away I probably wanted them, but I just asked if I could take a quick peek and sure enough, she dumped out a roll of 1967s, labeled 1967. It was all 40% silver. I said, I'll buy everything you have. And then she said, how about these bills too? And I saw they were old bills and I said, I'll buy it all. I'll take all of it. Anyway, I wasn't really allowed to film in the bank, but I asked her if I could just take a couple of seconds of video as long as I didn't film her, just so that I could get it on camera so that I could document what happened. The next several clips are me in that moment recording what I can and being a little bit overexcited. Anyway, let me show you the clips and then we'll come back. All of these are good? No, you did Seven. perfect. You yeah, yeah. All the everything's counted. Okay. So I'm taking my cart back into B of A. I couldn't do a lot of filming guys, I'm sorry, but they wouldn't let me, but you saw what I just got and we'll take a look in a minute. You guys, I am super excited. I'm actually in the parking lot right now. I don't want to open these in the parking lot, but they sold me not only half dollars in big $20 rolls, they also sold me all the red and blue seals. They strapped them for me. There's ones, fives, twos, you name it. I was picking up my order. Sorry for the shaky camera, but I'm super excited. And it's all 40s and 90s. I don't know what extent of 90s are in here, but holy cow, I don't know what to do. Anyway, you could see or tell by those clips I was super excited, so I cut the camera off short. Plus, I needed to drive home and take inventory what I had. So the next following clips will be me kind of taking that inventory, get an idea of what I had. I had a few things I needed to do that night, so I was unable to go through them immediately, but I did the best I can at least to set them up, and that's what the next clips are. Here we are in my coin room. I'm super excited, I've done nothing but take these from the cart to the car, from the car to this table. I figured I would go ahead and go through with you guys. Now, I'm not gonna go through everything right this minute, but I do wanna lay out what we have. And for those wondering, I also bought the collection of bills. Now, we have 252, which I have not gone through to see the dates or condition or any fancy serial numbers, but 252 $1 silver certificates. We've got I believe these are all red. There might be some, yeah, there's some blue seals in here as well. So we've got red and blue seal $5 bills. I guess there's 61, if my math is right, of these. And then all red seal uh, $2 bills, 11 of them. Pretty toasty. She kept a lot of the nicer ones, which is fine. I was like, please, keep whatever you want to keep. So we bought the bills, and then we bought all these rolls of halves, and I only looked at one to confirm it was silver, it was a whole roll of 1967, and it was even dated 1967. So a lot of these look like 40 percenters, but I did see a 64 here, and I think there's a, yeah, another one there. Now these are the larger rolls. This is $20 in halves. So there's 40 half dollars in these rolls, not $10 rolls that have 20. So let me do this. Let me move this basket, which weighs a ton. It's $780 face in half dollars or 1,560 half dollars. Those that don't know, I did purchase all of this at face value. Of course, every half dollar we paid 50 cents for, unbelievable. Those ladies are awesome. 
Let me get this cleared away, make some room on the mat, and then we'll just run through these rules and see what the dates say. It doesn't mean that the dates are correct. You guys know and I know we have seen dated rules before uh, that didn't have the right dates. This one's not even dated. So we'll see what they say. We'll lay them out by what they say, and then we'll calculate what we would already have if they at least contain what they say. I'm gonna grab the 64 first, and again, we're not looking right now. We're just putting them in order by what they say. And if they don't say anything, we'll set it to the side. So that apparently is two rolls of 64. And let's grab these. I see a 65, so we'll go ahead and grab that. 1965. We've got 67. You know, let's do it like this. Let's stack them like that. So 64, 65, 67. 67, um, no date on that one, 68, 68, 69, 68, 67, that says 67, I could already see it, that's a 67, so we'll add that over there, running out of space. Here is another 68. 68. 66. That's our first one from that year. 67. So just from what I'm seeing so far, looks like it's going to be a 40% collection dump for the most part, but I'm not going to get mad. Another 68. Let me move this 69 over. Another 68 and 67, a whole bunch of those. 67, 67, looking pretty silvery. 65, 66, we've got another 64. I'll take that. 68. 67, another 64, 67, another 64, 68, 66, 67, 67, Another 64, so that is six rolls of 64, seven rolls of 64, 68, eight rolls of 64, 66, and 67, and one of the bills probably is missing its end. So I'll have to find out what bill is missing its edge and uh, that looks like a silver certificate. So I'll definitely add that to it. This one's not labeled. So let's just pop it and see if it has Kennedy's in it or not. It is Kennedy's. Let's see if we can take any of these out and see what year it is. All right. 65, so probably I'm going to assume, yeah, so this is going to be a roll of 65s right there, so I'll add it over there. So I've got them all laid out, and I figured I would just do a quick roll recap. Now, this is just what the dates are on the rolls. I did peek at a couple of end coins on a few of the rolls, and the end coins are definitely the year that it's labeled. So we're going to assume before I open them up that that's what it is. And if we assume that, we have eight rolls of 1964. And remember, these aren't 20 coin rolls. These are 40 coin rolls. So 320 coins are 1964 Kennedys. We also have three rolls of 1965. We have four rolls of 1966. We have three, four, five, six, seven... Plus six, we have 13 rolls of 1967. We have one, two, three, four, five, nine rolls of 68 and two rolls of 1969. 
So, what is that? 39 total rolls? 8 being 90%, 31 being 40%. And of course, we've got the red and blue seal and silver certificates up there as well to go through. Anyway, just wanted to give you a bird's eye view of that before we start checking them out. That's insane. All right, now that we got the table kind of set, the next set of clips are the, actually the next day. And the reason why I postponed opening them that night is because I had a live stream and the last video clip that I put out there happened about 30 minutes before my stream started and then the stream lasted until 11.30 last night and then I had to eat dinner and next thing I know it was one in the morning and I was tired of looking through half dollars. So I got up early this morning so that I could go ahead and hunt these halves. So the next set of clips were done early this morning when I was ready to actually focus and put my eyes on these half dollars and see if what was labeled was what was in the rolls. Obviously, I have the eight rolls of 1964s here first because obviously this is the bulk of what we would profit from, if you will, as long as they're all 64s. But that being said, the plan is I'm going to open up a few of these rolls pretty quickly on this video and then off camera, I will check all these 64s to see whether they're Philadelphia or Denver Mint, and then if they possibly have any of the varieties of the double die, triple die, or quadruple die obverses, and any of the DDRs as well. So, with that being said, best thing to do is just grab the very first roll, and I wanna give you a look again at the halves. It's $20 in halves. So a typical half dollar roll that you find nowadays is a $10 half dollar roll with 20 coins in it. These should have 40. I'm gonna count them as well as validate that they are 64 Kennedys as well. And you can tell by the end that already looks good. And that already looks good. So let's just go ahead and pop this bad boy open. Slide them out. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, definitely all silver. And uh, that's a 64. And some of these are in beautiful condition. But I just want to go ahead and take a quick look. We'll count this first roll. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that would be your typical 20 coin roll. And then we have 22, 24, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, and 40. So the very first roll held true. 40, 90%, 1964 Kennedy half dollars. And as a sample, I see a D. Looks like there's, oh, nope, there's three Ds and a P. So we're probably gonna get a mix of mints as well. So that one held true. For now, I'm not gonna be putting them back in their rolls because I definitely want to inspect them for any of the doubling. And if all these rolls hold true, we are gonna have 320 1964 Kennedy half dollars to look at for condition and for varieties. We'll do one more roll on camera. If it holds out true, then I'll do the rest off camera and bring you guys back in. But I can tell you right now, it's definitely all silver, and we'll just count them. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. That is a beauty. 29, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. We're two for two. Let me go through the other six rolls, and I'll let you know if we're eight for eight. Well, the good news is all eight rolls had 40 coins in them, all 1964 Kennedys as marked. There is a couple of dinged up ones 
and I put them on top. Like this one looks like it was attached to something. And then this one's not that nice either. But outside of a couple of them like that, the majority is in fantastic shape. I mean, these things are close to being as uncirculated as you can get. Definitely very nice examples of 1964 Kennedy half dollars other than a few random ones. Now I'm gonna pause the video here because I now have the painstaking but fun process of putting all of these under my microscope because I wanna check for any of the varieties that could be in here and have even more additional value. That being said, 320 1964 90% silver Kennedy half dollars purchased for 50 cents a piece out of the first eight rolls. That already would be an epic score. And we still have all those 40 percenters as marked and the bills to hunt. So I'm throwing this clip in here to let you know that I did record the variety hunt, but we're gonna go right to the wrap up of the varieties that I found. I actually have all the clips still stored and I might make that a future video, but while I was editing this video, I saw that, man, we had about 10 minutes of variety hunt clips in there and this video is already gonna be kinda long. So I'm gonna forego inserting those in here. You will see the wrap up of the varieties here on the next clip and hopefully that'll be enough. All right, we finished going through the 320 1964 Kennedy half dollars, 90% silver. The finds of the varieties, we only found seven. Ironically, three DDO nines. Two stage Bs and a stage C. And three DDO 13s. Two stage As and a stage B. And then finally, the best find would have been this FS-105, but it's not in the greatest shape, unfortunately. But I'll still take it. I have one of these already and a couple of these other ones, so I'll just add them to my varieties book. Now that we've done that, these are all 40% marked. I'm gonna open a couple live, and if we find out that it's living true to what the packaging says, I'll open them off camera and just give you a recap. Since I have three rolls of 1965 and I want to check for the DDR, which has the doubled die reverse on the stars below the clouds, I figured I'd open these ones first. We'll just open one roll, and if it pans out all 1965, then uh, we'll assume the other ones are, and if they aren't, I'll bring you back in. But I wanted to at least double check these, and uh, yeah, once again, we've got... Uh, Something saying true to what it's labeled as. There's five, six, seven, eight, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. All 1965. So to speed up the video, I won't bring you in to open up the other ones. I mean, we can tell by looking at just the ends. We've got silver as well. So it looks like these are gonna hold true. And um, I'll count them, make sure we have the correct number. But I'm gonna go now through these and see if any of these have the doubled die reverse on the stars below the clouds. We have finished going through the 65s. Of course, with only 22 ever been graded, I didn't think I'd find one and I didn't. But the rolls added up, three full rolls, but it's six rolls of my 20 coin rolls. I've got three of the 66 rolls already opened. I've got one more to go. Figured I would open the last one live just for fun. They're all panning out as 66s. So I can pretty much assume at this point with what we've already opened that the rest of the rolls are going to be as they are labeled as well. Holy cow, that is a lot of silver. I could check the 66s for the DDOs and the DDRs but I am really getting tired eyes of looking through all these. So I think what I'm gonna do for the rest of this video is I'll go ahead and get these rolled up. Then I'll confirm the rest of the 67, 68, and 69. And then I'll give you guys a look at all of these in the tubes. Now I will not have enough tubes. So whatever I can't tube up, I will just lay out like this and we'll give a final wrap up.
Well, as you saw by me opening the rolls, <laughs> the 67s panned out as they were rolled. Holy cow. We got to get them in the tubes. And then we'll do the 68s and 69s next. Well, I have officially ran out of rolls. Still have that many 67s to go. Plus what we got, still in there. So I think I'm gonna stick it back on a time lapse and uh, just open the rest of the rolls and dump them out and give you a total value of what I paid and what all this is worth in just silver melt. I will count these varieties as just silver melt just for accounting purposes. And I think we'll get uh, a wrap up here done in just a minute. Let me get the tripod set up and let's dump some more silver out. Holy cow, we bought $780 worth of half dollars, which comes out to 1,560 half dollars in total. At 50 cents each, I paid $780. For the 40% half dollars, we had 1,240 of them. And at today's melt value, that comes out to $3,278.97. And then we had 320 of the 90% 64 Kennedys. And their value for just melt was $2,069.48. Total value of silver melt on this table that we picked up from the bank is $5,348.45, but I need to subtract the $780 that I paid for it, which comes out to a profit, a bank score profit of $4,568.45. That's crazy. Now, we haven't even gone through the red and blue seals yet for any more valuable dates or better condition bills. This video has already been too long. We'll save that for another hunt. What a score. It pays to have relationships, like I've said before. Epic. I know the video is long, but if you enjoyed seeing this lucky score of mine, please give the video a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting, happy stacking, and thanks for watching.